to be with you. We are going to sing a favorite hymn, The Solid Rock, or My Hope is Built on Nothing Less. And when I've been in Lutheran churches, they've tended to be pretty insistent about the tune that we use. There are a couple of different tunes you can use for this, for this hymn. You can sing, My hope is built on nothing less. But the one that Lutherans tend to to uh, be attracted to a lot is my hope is built on nothing less the same tune as as set to the navy hymn so that's the one we're going to use today now this this hymn has a has a has a history to it Edward Mote was born into poverty, the hymn writer, on January 21st, 1797 in London. His parents, innkeepers, wouldn't allow a Bible in their house, but somehow Edward heard the gospel as a teenager and came to Christ. He eventually became a skilled carpenter and the owner of his own cabinet shop. One morning, he recalled, it came into my mind as I went to labor to write a hymn on the gracious experience of a Christian. As I went up to Holborn, I had the chorus. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. In the day, I had four verses complete and wrote them off. On the Sabbath following, I met Brother King, who informed me that his wife was very ill and asked me to call and see her. I had an early tea and called afterwards. He said that it was his usual custom to sing a hymn, read a portion, and engage in prayer before he went to meeting. He looked for his hymn book, but could find it nowhere. I said, I have some verses in my pocket. If, if he liked, we would sing them. We did, and his wife enjoyed them so much that after service he asked me, as a favor, to leave a copy of them for his wife. I went home, and by the fireside composed the last two verses, wrote the whole off, and took them to Sister King. As these verses so met the dying woman's case, my attention to them was the more arrested, and I had a thousand printed for distribution. In 1852, Mote, 55, gave up his carpentry to pastor the Baptist church in Horsham, Sussex, where he ministered for 21 years. He resigned in 1873 in failing health, saying, I think I am going to heaven. Yes, I am nearing port. The truths I have been preaching... I am now living upon, and they'll do very well to die upon. Ah, the precious blood. He passed away at age 77. Here is an interesting verse from Mote's original that is omitted from most hymnals today. I trust his righteous character, his counsel, promise, and his power, his honor, and his names at stake, to save me from the burning lake. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Our reading is from the Gospel according to Matthew. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Today's hymn tune comes from smallchurchmusic.com. Jesus' name, 
on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. His oath, his covenant, his blood support me in the whelming flood when all supports are washed away he then is all my hope and stay on christ the solid rock i stand all other ground is sinking sand when he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, redeemed to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. God be with you, be safe, and I will see you back here on Thursday.